What's going on guys, Ziga Blaze here, and today what I wanted to discuss with you guys is what might be my favorite update to Rainbow Six Siege in a very long time. So what this update consists of is a separate playlist, and it's called Road to SI. Basically, this playlist mocks what the Pro League settings are for Siege, uh, with the exception of the match round limit still being what we are used to uh, in regular ranked matches, so you still win games after four rounds. However, we're playing with the eSports map rotation, so the map pool for that consists of Clubhouse, Coastline, Consulate, Border, Bank, Oregon, and Villa. Um, all of these maps are very well balanced around offense and defense and are arguably the most competitive maps that are in Rainbow Six. So uh, this is just great to see that. On top of this, we are also getting our first taste of the pick and ban system in an actual ranked scenario. So up until this point, you've been able to play the ranked pick and ban if you created a private match and had enough friends to set it up and actually get into it but now ubisoft is actually giving us this game mode which lets us basically simulate playing ranked with our friends uh, or just solo queuing into what the ranked system could look like going into year four adding pick and ban into the game uh, if you guys don't watch pro league or don't know how the pick and ban system works Basically, both teams are going to get the chance to vote on an operator from offense to remove for the entirety of the game, and the enemy team will also get to remove an offensive operator. This also works the same for defense, so in total, you're going to end up with four operators that are banned for the game, which will definitely switch up the dynamic of how games are played, which is super exciting. Basically, what this does is adds a whole nother layer to the strategy and the complexity that each match of Rainbow Six will entail. Normally you hop into a match with your friends, you have your operators that you're comfortable with, everyone picks who they need to play, you're usually bringing at least one or two hard breachers, then you have your utility, uh, your soft breachers, all that, but with this uh, pick and ban system it allows your team to make finite adjustments to the lineup that you're going to be playing against and playing with for the whole match so you can do things that will dynamically change the entire match for both teams removing a thermite is huge getting rid of a jaeger allows frag grenades to just excel in all matches uh removing an echo from bomb is very very strong uh as to go for plants um but on top of this map rotation and the pick and ban system we are also getting slight changes to the actual game mode bomb that uh, most of you guys might not be used to if you're used to playing in ranked currently so if you play bomb at the moment uh, the plant duration is five seconds and i believe the diffuse duration is also five seconds feel free to correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments um, but when playing in the road to si game mode Plant duration is now 7 seconds, the same as Pro League, and the diffuse time is also 7 seconds. So what this does is it creates more strategy. So basically, if you want to get a plant off now, it's not going to be as simple as getting into a room, getting it down, and getting out. Even if your team's not around you, you're going to have to play very much with your team uh, on offense and defense because once that diffuser goes down, it's going to be just as hard for in ranked to disable it as it was for you to plant therefore making the objective gameplay so much more strategic the bomb means so much more if you can get that down it's going to make your team your team's chances of winning go up twofold just in the few games i played last night with my friends i noticed personally that a lot more droning was going in uh, on the my enemy team's play they were droning a lot more as well as my team were droning a lot more and being a lot more communi uh, using a lot more communication uh, amongst our our team and how we were playing um, it was really really awesome and refreshing to see about a minute and a half to two minutes go by with very little frags going on uh, just a lot of intel flowing in through my team and knowing that the enemy team was trying the same thing and just trying to figure out how they were going to get that plant down it uh it really made the game feel a lot closer to what 
it seems me to me what Pro League would be like personally. Uh, after watching a lot of Pro League matches, you, you'll see a lot of the times two, two and a half minutes, almost the whole timer will go by in a round, and then in that very last window uh, of opportunity, you will see just constant frags back and forth, both teams trading off kills, uh, a diffuser either going down or uh, inevitably getting stopped. There's just a lot that happens in that small window of time, and it just makes the game so intense. And honestly, uh, with the pick and ban system implemented into the games I was playing last night, we were able to get rid of operators that inherently just make the game feel less tactical than it has in the past. Uh, we were banning people like Lion, uh, Jackal, uh, I saw the enemy team ban Dokaibi, and uh, we were banning Bandit at different points. Um, Blitz got banned quite a few times. And what this really did was eliminate those those thorns in your side, those things that are just annoying about Siege. Um, personally, in my opinion, I don't find global operator abilities uh, to be a good step in the right direction for Siege. I think that those type of abilities should st stick to games like Call of Duty, Overwatch. Uh, it just makes more sense in those worlds, whereas in Siege, I feel like hard core like gadgets and actual uh, thrive a bit more I, I don't think pressing a button or just having things affect everyone is a really good strategy and i just don't want to see a lot of that come to the game so being able to get rid of operators like lion uh dokaibi finca from the lineup and just play uh the game with a bit more tacticality behind your gameplay and knowing that the enemy is also forced to take that same route it just it's very refreshing it really changes the pace of the game it really changes the feel and honestly i really like the step that ubisoft is taking here allowing the community to try out the si playlist here in my personal opinion i think this is ubisoft's first attempt at seeing how the community feels about adding this into ranked i truly truly hope that year four can launch with a playlist similar to this but what I do want to mention is a couple things that I am not fond of with this update and that I think need to be addressed in the final version but honestly I'm not super worried about them and I'll get into that in a second so let me just explain so one thing right off the bat that I do not like whatsoever uh, is that there is no penalty at the moment for leaving the SI challenge playlist um, I do believe this is just to make the ease of access for players to hop in and out of it without worrying about their rank, uh, without worrying about their elo or getting any type of bans. Uh, they made it so that the gameplay resembles ranked, but the uh, the rules as far as your ability to leave and uh, I would assume even the team killing rules and all of those things are uh, taking casual into account. So you can back out of this match uh, as soon as you want to. Um, but kind of what this was doing was diluting the gameplay. So I would hop into a match and it would already be either past the pick and van phase or like the game would be halfway over and my team would be either winning or losing. Um, so I didn't really have any involvement in the actual pick and ban itself. Um, and I was also joining into games and other players were joining into games and leaving games quite frequently, especially in the beginning when we were picking and banning operators. So uh, some teams didn't even have a say if they wanted to get rid of an operator or not uh, when they were hopping into the match just because they didn't have enough time to vote on something. Uh, so I do think that needs to be addressed, but I'm not too worried about it. This is just me being a bit nitpicky because I do believe that if Ubisoft does implement this into the ranked, obviously you will be punished for leaving matches. Um, so I don't think people will be hopping in and out of games to uh, really <laughs> grief one another or anything like that because you will end up getting your ban that you do now. So that's just one of my complaints that I had. I'm not a huge fan how Ubisoft is only allowing this playlist to be played on the weekends. Uh, I would like to see them allow this to be played throughout all of the four weeks leading up to the Rainbow Six Invitational, uh, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I'm not too sure why they're doing it like this, but I feel like Ubisoft is very timid with sharing this game mode with us, with sharing pick and ban, um, because for starters, the uh, sixth pick is not part of the current setup for the playlist. So what the sixth pick is, um, 
would basically make it so that both teams can see the operators on either side of the lineup when the round starts and uh, you basically know who you're going up against before the prep phase even starts. Um, it lets you kind of gauge what's going to happen as far as your defense or offense you're going to be going up against. But at the same time, the six pick allows one of your teammates uh, and one of the enemy players to choose an operator that they've already picked and switch off of them without the enemy team seeing that pick. Uh, they won't know that you've switched off the operator and it allows you to bring a curveball if you want to, you don't have to. Um, but that is something that if this does come to rank, which I truly, truly hope it does with year four, uh, when year four launches in a couple months from now, uh, I really hope they carry over the sixth pick too, because I would like to see the opponents I'm going up against, uh, and be able to also have that further strategy of being able to choose an operator and switch them in or out the same way that it works in pro league. A few final notes that I wanted to. The only game mode that is available is Bomb. Always having Bomb is huge. I really would like to see that ranked only be the game mode Bomb going forward. I know there are players that like Secure Area, and I know there's even weirdos out there that like Hostage. Sorry if you like Hostage. Nothing against you. I just don't think it's good fundamentally for this game. Um, secure Area turns into a bit of a team deathmatch at times if I'm being honest but bomb is truly tactical and has a lot of uh, thought that goes into playing on offense and on defense so I would like to see uh, ranked be all bomb going into year four um, that would be really nice the final few things that this update brought uh, besides that as far as changes would be a few different cosmetic items that you can actually earn out of these 2019 special packs that uh, Ubisoft has so kindly gifted us, I believe three in total, if you end up doing the two community challenges that are available for the uh, the updates. Uh, you get one right off the bat and it will contain a unique piece of gear for uh, one of six operators, I believe. There's headgears, um, there's body pieces, and there's also different camos that you can get. All of them look absolutely beautiful also if you guys want to in your in game you can check out everything that these packs have to offer without opening them just have to offer without opening them if you just click on your alpha packs and go down to the collection tab uh, you're able to see everything that these packs have which is really nice um, so if you guys want to collect all of them they are a bit pricey um, I'm getting a few myself personally because I'm doing a big alpha pack opening soon but yeah uh, do with it as do with that what you will um, I really like the cosmetics that Ubisoft is going with here. All of them feel very unique, very refreshing for all of these operators that are there available for. And I was personally really impressed by all of it. All right, to finally wrap up all of my thoughts, I would just like to say that I think this update, although I had a couple things to complain about, is phenomenal for the game. I really, really love when Ubisoft has these community events um, they seem to bring in an influx of old players as well as new uh, to the community. And Siege is a game that is constantly growing now. And honestly, a couple of years ago in 2015, in December, when I was playing this with my friends, I, I remember telling them that I think this game is going to blow up someday. And it's very humbling and very amazing to see my favorite shooter and probably my favorite video game of all time uh, to be doing so well and to be thriving going into the fourth year and have so much uh so so many members of the community to back it uh as well as a beautiful pro league scene which is continuing to grow and become more popular each and every day and i'm just super 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 wishful and hopeful that year four will start out with a bang and we will be getting the pick and ban system as it is at least right now implemented into ranked i think that would be a huge huge step in the right direction for rainbow six as a whole and uh, i'm just very excited to see that it actually does happen going into the next year um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video explaining the new update and all that it has to offer as well as my opinions on it and all the other good stuff that was in here um, thank you guys as always for all the feedback in the comments all the love all the support all the everything that you guys do for me i truly appreciate each and every single one of you i love you all and i hope you all have a wonderful and rest blah, 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 blah. i hope blah, 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 i can't say words anymore i hope you guys all have a great fucking day and i will see all of you beautiful faces later peace out guys